stuff like that. We're not working on that today. Or that. I'm not working on that. Or that. Or that. Yeah, no. Or the tractor. It's a bad idea. Yeah, that's no. We're not doing that. <laughs> so what are we working on? Dirt bike. Dirt bike? In Where's the, the dirt bike? It's in, the, in a lean-to in the middle of nowhere. So what else is in that lean-to? That's where we found our our current doom buggy engine. 65, 13, 16. Yeah. So this is our secret off whatever limits off the grid. storage of projects. There's more cars down there. Oh yeah. There's a Corvair down there. What's the one they cut the top off to make it to a convertible? Corvair. Yeah, the Corvair. That's a good idea. <laughs> totally. I see a hawk. So, the lean two is over here. And what is the bike again? We keep forgetting. I think it's And your dad argues that it's a Yamaha. There's another tractor. It is, yep. So, uh, yep. There it is. This is our project for today. Red and yellow. I forgot Kawasaki's a green, yeah. But I think there's red Suzuki. Some weird yellow stuff on it. Probably repainted red it looks like actually. Yeah. So, so uh we gotta dig this thing out. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull it out somehow. But uh, here's where the engine was, it was like right here. All this other junk from the freaking nineteen Yeah, let's get to work. Good? Are we in? It's unearthed. It's out. And, uh, good thing it is. Let's see. You got some sort of compression. Yeah. It's turning. So that's good. Pull it up, hose it off. She's been extracted <laughs> from her grave. The rear wheel's locked up. This is lovely. Yeah. Only numbers you've seen is this 1200cc uh, thing. <laughs> Tell us what kind of bike this is, that would be greatly appreciated. We don't know anything about it other than it's Suzuki and it's big. Yeah. Finally got it. We made it. <laughs> Note to self, uh, try to get closer next time, especially if you got a seized <laughs> up back wheel. Yeah. But it's in, that's all that matters. Now time to... Oh, I shut my hand and cash it. Oh, good job. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> uh, so now we get back to... Are we going to my shop this time? Because I have more tools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see you there. Well... We're not at the shop. I'm into a power sports place. Yeah. Trying to get identified. So local bike shop here in town, a Suzuki shop actually, which is really good, so. nice. <laughs> Get this thing identified so we can actually buy parts for it. Yeah. We'll be at the shop soon, maybe trying to do something. Hopefully it'll run. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Why do we do this to ourselves? Because it's fun. Are you sure? A little bit, maybe. <laughs> a lot of money too. <laughs> Wow. 
Wow, we're at the shop. It's late. But we've been doing some work. Late as in 6.30? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's only 6.30 and it's pitch black out. It's dark, though. Welcome to the Midwest. Um, yeah. Been looking it over. Lots, it, lots this, of stuff I figured out. It's not in that bad shape. Yeah. It's two-stroke. Thought, thought it was a four-stroke. Sure, why not? Crank's over good. Yep. Sauce broke. Um, Probably knows one of the most dangerous bikes of all time. <laughs> yeah, we've kind of been doing some research on it, and we've heard that these old TM400s are some pretty risky machines. Oh, yeah. See, so the handling is complete garbage. Uh, Especially since those handlebars are bent. Also, the brakes, drum brakes on a 400cc two stroke is apparently a bad idea. Uh, we've started to learn that. Whoever owned this bike before uh, your father? Yep, my dad. <laughs> was some, not the greatest at building stuff. Had some interesting plans, <laughs> such as uh, capping off the original exhaust and bending it the other way for fun, and welding it in about a million other places. Yeah, some of which have, of course, broken. I mean, it kind of makes sense how my dad bought it for so cheap. <laughs> yeah, the guy probably trashed it. But it's got a nice big gas tank on it. Yeah, it's got an aftermarket gas tank. One thing that we don't really realize, like, know what the deal is here is why this head has two spark plugs. I don't know if anyone out there knows exactly why. But, I mean, the one plug is, like, super duper short and doesn't even go into the cylinder while this one does. Yeah, the actual one had the only spark plug attached to it. Yeah, so I think there was a plug here, and they lost the plug and just put a small spark plug in it just to... Say, hey, that's good enough. This spark plug is really little for this engine. You know, if you compare it to the other one, see it's short. My camera won't focus. That's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and this one, just take a second, is much bigger. Mm -hmm. A lot longer. If you look at them, Side by side. One's like half. <laughs> yeah, it's like half the size. So, who knows what that's all about. I'm pretty sure it's just a plug, random plug, because it lost the original one. Might have been a sensor of some sort. But if anyone wants to tell me what that is, uh, that'd be great. So, we're going to do some cleaning up, more cleaning up on this thing. It's actually not in that bad of shape. I mean, it won't move, but it'll run. Which, it's not really a goal right now, but it's easily attainable. attainable yeah. it's not too Unlike the Doom Buggy. <laughs> Which is still not running today. Still not running. Yeah. Cranks, has spark, gets fuel, doesn't run. This thing has more compression than it does. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, That's the same amount of horsepower. <laughs> but we're going to do a bunch of cleaning up. Uh, the exhaust port's just caked full of crap because so many, so many animals have been in this exhaust pipe as you can see mice have gotten in there and plugged the thing up so we're gonna do that the carburetor needs rebuilt of course we might just have to get a new one because that one's pretty beat up yeah it's not in that bad we shape we also don't know what this is but it's, <laughs> it's i think that's the accelerator pump but I think so yeah the the carburetor moves but it's probably probably junk in probably the long run beat up but I might try it <laughs> we can get a rebuild kit for it uh, we're going to figure out how to wire this thing up, this coil, because it's pretty bad in <laughs> here. Uh, Charging you. system's pretty nasty, but it'll probably work still. Chain. Needs chain. Um, another funny thing. We think this bike was crashed pretty bad, and that's why it's parked, because if you look at uh, look at how crooked that back wheel is. Oh, it's sideways. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. That sprocket's rubbing against the spring. This we're going to get really bad. Right on it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure out how to whack that back into place. I think yeah. the swing arm right there is bent. Yeah, either it was crashed the shed. Let's take yeah, on top or the of it. Shed was laying. Probably the both. <laughs> um, and the handlebars are bent, so it probably got that's straight. rolled pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, this is this is straight. Something like that. <laughs> like, that's not something right here. <laughs> so the the bike itself is pretty trashed. 
But engine. The engine's not in that bad shape. It's better than the Doom Buggy engine, so pretty much the opposite of the Doom Buggy. Yeah, Doom Buggy's on its second engine that doesn't run. Still, I mean, it's in better shape than the first one, of course. Yeah, after a long time of work, but. And yeah, back suspension's locked up, but it's getting there. It's it's starting to move a little bit. Not a lot of work here. Small engines are a lot better than yeah. car engines. So one cylinder is better than four. <laughs> or eight. Or eight. Don't talk about it. <laughs> that's, that's that's my fault there. <laughs> Rip the Mercury. It's almost done by the way. Sneak peek. Motor's almost in almost together and ready to go in. So video on that soon, hopefully. Got a bunch of clips to put together. I feel like this is gonna be a quick video and this is gonna go up before the next Doom Buggy or Probably. Mercury video. So yeah. you're getting some teasers here. Excited. So yeah. This is a pretty simple project. I think it's just gonna be a lot of cosmetic stuff rather than mechanical. Yeah. Transmission might be a little iffy. <laughs> It'll break free. It'll break free. Oh yeah, our clutch. <laughs> our yeah, clutch that, that broke. broken off. Hey, we'll figure it out. But for something that's been sitting in a collapsed lean to for 35 <laughs> no years? Cover, yeah. Probably 35 years. 30, I don't know, who knows? Just like the other engine. Kind of so. there. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. And it's had a rough life. So, yeah. Yep. Guess we'll try to clean out that exhaust port, put the head back on, and figure out something from there. I don't know. Maybe clean the carburetor. Maybe do some wiring. We might even get this thing running. It's only 6.30, so. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Who knows? Maybe this thing will run tonight. Probably not, awesome. but. Probably <laughs> not. You know our luck. Pull out about two pounds worth of crap out of that exhaust port. <laughs> we probably still got a lot left too. There's this pretty clean in there now. Shine a light in there, you know, light in the phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, the rest of this come out of the exhaust. There was like acorns and stuff in there. <laughs> yeah. So. I could scrape it with a screwdriver or something too, maybe. Yeah, loosen some more up. Maybe suck it out. Yeah. Man, too bad that cylinder got some scoring and some rust, but it, it ain't seized. Yeah. I mean, we'll soil the crap out of it. Yep. Yep. Awesome. We didn't even do anything to it. It already had spark. Yeah, all we did was just cough the. Probably the exhaust suck it all out. Vacuumed it all out because stuff could get in the cylinder and locking it up. Yeah, we took off the top of it about two three times, times. Three two, times. Three times. Yeah. Now, now we think we got all the crap out of the exhaust. And it still got spark after sitting 35 years. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> that's that's electronic ignition too. That's not even points. Like that's crazy how that yeah. stuff works. So, we're getting close. Too bad the carburetor needs rebuilt. Just hang it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We also tore off the mount because it was garbage. And so. too bad it doesn't drive. Let me get another clip of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, rusty chain, bent wheel. This whole thing is just... That shock is kind of bent too. Yeah. It's like... All the expensive parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. But, but look, a 400cc two-stroke. 
And she's running, almost. <laughs> no, I don't want to jinx us. But uh, yeah, we'll be back. You excited? Yeah, really Why? excited. Why? We kicked it, and it was backfiring. Uh, so that's a good thing, it's got spark. Uh, and then one of the kicks, it blew off the carburetor. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't on there very well. We just kind of tried to jerry-rig it, and it, it backfired up the intake and blew the carb clean <laughs> off. <laughs> so, that was pretty funny. So, I think that means we're calling it quits for tonight. <laughs> yeah. We're going to clean up our get actual, mess here. Get an actual hose to work there. And then yeah, instead of like three different hoses put together. <laughs> yeah, probably buy a rebuild kit. But it was backfiring out the exhaust. So, that's good. We're just squirting some two-stroke down, down the throat of the carb. Yeah, I was on it when that happened, and I didn't even realize <laughs> that the whole bike was basically on fire. Yeah. I just saw the cloud of smoke billow up. I just saw flame. <laughs> where I was, I was like, man. Too bad the camera wasn't rolling there. Yeah. Well, I think that's a stopping point for night. I mean, that's a lot of progress for doing pretty much nothing. Yeah, this we just got this today. We literally got to the farm at noon. You're still smoking out of the car. Right? Smoke. <laughs> um, but we got to the sh farm at noon, got the dirt bike, and then, yeah, this is as far as we got today. As close as the dune buggy is. <laughs> Backfiring. Yeah. So, we're going to figure out how to get that carburetor mounted, maybe get a rebuild kit for it, and then we'll see what happens. Yeah. Timing might be off pretty bad, too, somehow. Stator's probably out of whack. So, I buy one of those. So yeah, yeah, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Goodbye.